Hello, people of the YouTube world, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. I created Susie Storm last time when I was trying to figure out what the Crystal Creations pack came with. And when I created her, I told you guys I would let you guys know her traits along with what I was planning to do, which is basically speed run the aspiration. I want to know if I can complete this aspiration very quickly. So let's go ahead and find out if I can. But her traits are currently loves the outdoors, bookworm, family oriented. She is a natural born dancer. She would be happy to have a child. She is not quite memorable at acting. So she sucks at acting. She struggles with <laughs> fitness as well. And she has a voice to remember. So I'm definitely happy about that. She also has the collector trait because the, of the crystal crafter. She has Sage and Caregiver. We're going to go ahead and look at the Aspiration. So the Aspiration has four little tiers to it, but we're going to go ahead and get everything we need. Starting with zero simoleons. I did not build this beautiful house. It was already built and I just changed the lot traits because I didn't want her to have the lot traits that were in here before. Day two. Good morning, guys. I am back with Susie. Susie is actually grabbing some breakfast. And after she's done, she's just going to grab some of the harvestables around her house before she gets ready to head to work, which isn't really work because I am literally just going to grab crystals and metals. I am going to take this off. I do not know how much the gemology table actually costs, so I'm going to go ahead and find out and I will be back after building that. I don't know why, but Susie's face like that kind of scares me a little bit. I don't know why, but it looks like it has evil intentions written right over it. But Susie is back. She has gotten her harvestable. She actually also got another frog, which I was able to breed. So I'm going to go ahead and sell that. And I am going to wait until she heads to work. So I will see you guys when she heads to work. But I did go ahead and check build buy. And it turns out the crystal machine is like 650 simoleons. And we don't have enough money for that. So we're going to definitely need to do that after we come back. So here we are back with Susie and she is actually here at her job and we are collecting crystals and metals. Okay, we're finally getting somewhere. One metal. Okay. And we did get the gemology trait. I mean, the gemology skill also. We're doing good so far. Okay. Okay. I like it. This is how you get crystals fast, guys. In case you're wondering and you have to get to work, just come here and get it. Look at it already on gemology level two. And I haven't even bought the dang crystal machine yet. So Susie is done currently collecting all of the crystals and metals she needed. But I'm just having her collect everything basically. So Susie is still here at work and she is not technically working. Because as you can see, I have no progress on this. I am literally here to collect crystals, so once we return home, I will let you guys know. A few moments later. So we have finished the end of the shift, and we of course did a terrible job because we didn't actually work. Yet they somehow paid us 33 simoleons. I'm not mad about that, but we're going to go ahead and head home. So we are back home. I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys how much stuff we got from basically just staying all day over there. I will be making her quit her job. I have been breeding frogs, as you guys can see. I only bred it really one time because there's a long wait on it. But here is everything we have. And I'm going to go ahead and sell the treasure map along with the time capsules. And I'm hoping we actually not even hoping we will be able to buy the gemology table right after I'm done selling those. So I'll go ahead and place that down and we'll see what we can do. Okay, so we've gone ahead and bought the gemology table. But as you can see, Susie's needs are absolutely atrocious. But so far, we still need to do this, which is gift or jewelry or successfully propose with a crafting jewelry. So I'm going to have her create a jewelry after I finish her needs. So here we are. We are here to craft a jewelry. So why don't we try? I want to see if I can do... Mm, Maybe let me do an earring. So we did go ahead and finish. And here is what it looks like. I'm trying to get a better picture of this. But here is what it looks like. The earrings, not that bad. The color is also not bad. But we are actually going to gift these because I am trying to speed run the aspiration, as I said. 
So let's go ahead and put this in our inventory. And Bernice, you are the first person that tried to talk to me while I was at work. Day three. Well, why don't we go ahead and try and cut a gemstone? It's seed-shaped gemstone. I know I'm going to need these very, very soon. All right, guys. So it is Tuesday morning. And as you guys can see, she just finished the crystal. And in finishing the crystal, we actually reached gemology level four. So let me, let me go ahead and show you guys this. And we actually got very high in this because of all of the gems and everything that we were finding while we were doing the scientist career in quotation marks. <laughs> but I am actually going to let my sim go to sleep. I don't know if I can really charge that, but I'm going to put it on here and let it charge. And I'm going to let my sim go to sleep. So I will see you guys in the morning. Day four. Good morning, guys. And so we are back on Tuesday morning, really early in the morning, and the welcome wagon is apparently here to greet us, so we're gonna go ahead and invite them in. But they all look like a bunch of vampires, and maybe, yep, they all look like a bunch of vampires. Did I just go wrong by inviting a bunch of vampires to my house? Yes. Did they bring the horrible fruitcake? Absolutely. You will not touch the salad in my fridge, because I'm going to make you all eat some of this horrible fruitcake. You're welcome. Hope you like the fruit fruitcake it's a family heirloom sir you're a vampire i i've never seen vampires eat fruitcake and we don't even like the fruitcake just stop eating it my girl just stop eating it we're going to go ahead and invite bernice over she is someone who kept bothering me while i was at work everything from my jewelry is charged and my seed is also charged so i am happy about that i think the seed is one of the longest ones that takes forever so i'm just going to go ahead and just plant it and wait for it because it is one of the things that's going to take a very long time bernice where are you bernice you're talking to the vampires R really all right so i am hoping this is the right interaction i am looking for for gifting but let me just make sure yeah it just says use the interaction gift so let's go ahead and see bernice do you like it Oh, you're also pregnant. Um, you didn't tell any llama jokes, but why didn't I get... Okay, the the interaction didn't work. What in the world? The interaction didn't... Bernice, give me my earrings back. Bernice! I am going to need to make a new one because Bernice done jacked my stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm going to need to make a new one. Okay, let's do the turquoise. I think I might have to start selling these eventually to start getting money because... Look at that. Give two. Perfect. Yep. Let's give that to Bernice now. Bernice, I hope you like this. Yes. All right. So we bought the crystal grid already. We did plant a crystal seed and we need to wear a fully charged jewelry piece. So the selling table is 450 simoleons, guys. Someone tell me why my crystal will not sit there and charge on the grid. Like, why? Oh, because there's no crystal in here. Okay, I see. So there needs to be a crystal. Okay, 50 simoleons. Let's make that now. I am going to sell that basic bracelet after I'm done. The next day. Good morning, guys. So as you guys can see, the jewelry that we put on the grid to finally... Fully charged has been fully charged and our sim here Susie is coming to pick it up and wear it. So that finishes level two of this. So we are on the third level. We are doing well so far. It's been three days. We are on our fourth day. Let's see how we, well we'll get. We need to grow a magnificent crystal tree. We're working on it. Make five pieces of excellent jewelry. That'll be hard. And we need to complete crafting gemstone or jewelry ten times while focused. Well, I'm currently focused right now. Okay, so we went ahead and did some foraging. Didn't find much, but we did go ahead and find some fossils. We are going to sell them because we need simoleons. Oh my gosh, guys, we have enough to buy the table. Yes. Okay, so we have gotten the table and we are selling that one jewelry we made because guys, we need money to make more jewelry. That's how this thing works. So we are, of course, still working on Grow a Magnificent Crystal Tree. And then we need to make five pieces of excellent jewelry. Oh my gosh, I am already scared. My sim is back to craft a random jewelry. So <laughs> this is her first time crafting random jewelry, guys. 
So it only took four days, <laughs> four days. While crafting our jewelry, we actually made it to gemology level five. So we are definitely doing well. But apparently that was excellent. So we have crafted one of one here. I am super happy with her. We cannot craft another random jewelry until we're done selling this. So we're back at the selling table again. Bernice, what you want? Bernice, what do you want? You can be friends with whoever that was. I don't know who that was, but you can do it, Bernice. Hattie, ma'am, ma'am, under what conditions? Give it to me. Give it to me. Ooh, someone, oh my gosh, someone bought it for 2000 and something. And that was the random one, I believe. Oh my gosh, the random one are, the random ones are where the money is at, guys. The following day. Good morning, guys. It is day five of the Crystal Crafter Aspiration speed run. And as you guys can see, we're suffering. We are suffering because we are on day five. This aspiration is not something you can just speed run, apparently, but I'm still going to try. It's not going to stop me. But so far, we have four of five, four of ten, and of course, we have zero of one still. But we are working on it, guys. I promise. So while Susie is taking care of the plants, we did go ahead and finish making five pieces of excellent jewelry. But what we still need to do is this, but we need to get in a focused mood, but she is also doing really bad on her fun and social needs. So I am going to see, we have a lot of points. So I'm just going to take a moodlet solver and I am going to solve this issue. The next morning. Good morning, guys. It is day six of this crystal crafter aspiration that we are trying to speed run. We are almost close to having her finish this part. Just this part right here, which is just complete gemstones or jewelry 10 times while focused. That is all I need her to finish. She is so close. Okay, we completed it. Okay, so now we just have to wait for our tree to be a magnificent crystal tree. Help me, guys. I'm gonna need it all. The next day. Good morning, guys. It is day six of the Crystal Crafter speed run, and we are here with Susie, who is selling stuff again because as you can see my money has gone down we are almost broke not really though but we need more money to create crystals guys and i need to start selling them quick so we are having another yard sale and i have found once again another hack because i need to fertilize this tree a few couple times before it'll let me evolve it and that means i need gardening level three currently right now i am at gardening level two I know a way of getting to gardening level three in a few minutes after I'm done getting some money. I did go ahead and find a crystal when I was grabbing breakfast this morning. Can you believe it? Remember how I had told you guys that I was going to help her with her gardening? Here we are. I have laid out a crap ton of stuff that she has already. And we are just going to make more of it and hopefully we get to gardening level three guys. So here we are back on our plant and I can fertilize her, but I can only fertilize her with a lemon and that is a normal lemon. And I do not want to do that, but I also want to. So maybe, maybe let me just fertilize everything with the lemons. But here is where the crystal is at. A tree that grows crystals. Nature truly is wonderful. It is in season, but we are not quite to making it magnificent yet. So we're going to be working on that for sure. So with us, so with us waiting, I know that I am going to need the jet. So I believe for this one, yes. So I do need the jet gemstone to get the Grim Reaper to show up. And at this point, I can either go to Oasis Spring or since I already have to wait for this plant to grow up, I am going to go and get that job back as a scientist and head to work as a scientist to go to that area that has a crap ton of stuff that I can pick up once again. One week later. So here is the progress so far on the tree. We are officially one week in. And this tree, I have evolved it. I have weeded it once again. So as you can see, there is progress being done on the tree. But there isn't much to show except for the same thing. So I'm not showing it all. But just know it's been a week now, guys. This this aspiration is hard to speed run, for sure. But not impossible. The following day. Good morning, guys. It is currently day eight of this speed run of the aspiration. I have watered my plant right here. I am going to take care of the other plants over here as well. Okay, guys. So here we are back again at the Future Sims Lab. I will not be using this, guys. We all know I am here 
for the crystals. Let's hope I get some today. Eventually. Guys, I have news. Look at that. First off, crystal collection complete. Thank you. And I got the jet. Yes, I did. I got it. And now I have all types of crystals also collected. Thank you. So currently right now, Susie is creating the jewelry that contains the jet crystal. We've kind of already done that early because that's the next tier of the aspiration. But we're doing it because I want to make sure that this is fully charged and it is the thing that I'm replacing with the jewelry that we were wearing since I no longer need it to get more crystals since I have all the crystals now. The following day. Good morning, guys. We are back with Susie. It is the day eight of the speedrun aspiration. And as you can see, we have a new moon, which means that our crystal that we laid out is taking its dang time. So as you guys can see, it is four hours until fully charged. I don't know if it's gonna continue charging even if it's, if it's in the daytime. All right, guys, so eventually it has been exactly one week six days and our crystal is finally starting to actually show some crystals on here but sadly it is still not magnificent yet so we still have a long way to go but i just wanted to show you guys the tree with crystals growing oh my gosh it looks absolutely beautiful and i cannot wait to see it get magnificent so i will be back when it has done exactly just that one eternity later. All right, guys. So it is officially one week and four days, which is basically Thursday. And we finally finished the magnificent tree because our tree took that long to get to magnificent. As you can see, it says crystal tree quality magnificent. So, oh my gosh, I am so happy we did that. Now we just have to summon the Grim Reaper with the jet gemstone or jewelry. And then we have to cut a gemstone valued at 2,500. So as you guys can see, I did go ahead and create the jewelry that has the jet gems, uh, the jet crystal basically inside of it. And this is what we'll be using to summon the Green Reaper. And the best part is it's charged for two days because I was prepared for this. So we're going to go ahead and put it on and we're going to wear it with all our outfits because I am prepared for this. So Susie did go ahead and put on the bracelet. You can see it on her hand over there. The only thing I'm not sure of is does it just kind of like happen or, oh, you just click it and say summon the Green Reaper apparently. <gasps> So let's go ahead and summon the Grim Reaper. I feel like this has definitely got some magical properties for sure. And we did go ahead and get that checked off. Summon the Grim Reaper with jet gemstone or jewelry. So that is complete. Now we just have to cut a gemstone valued at 2,500. I do not know how we do that, but we just have to cut a gemstone worth that. All right, so I will be back once I figure out how to get this done. Currently, right now, my sim is doing the gnome since the gnome is the most expensive along with the a rare crystal. So essentially, I would want the plumbite one because that would give me the most expensive. But the only problem is I don't have it because apparently I've already used it. A little later. Oh my gosh. So as you guys can see, it says aspiration complete. So we were able to finish it with this one, the John Quillist, probably saying it wrong. But that is the one that I ended up using. And here it is. It is worth 2,531 simoleons. And we have completed the aspiration. It took us exactly one week and four days to complete this aspiration. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm so happy to know that you can sort of speed run this, but it'll take a little bit because of the magical growing tree part. That is basically your biggest hindrance in this aspiration. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video so much that you consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when I post new videos. Love you guys so much. Bye guys.